Hey, what's up guys? So, we're back and uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit, uh, just the theory part about a Kubernetes monitoring with a Zabbix. So, uh, lately you might see um, quite an old picture in my Patreon page, link to which you can find in the description, about how we actually collected um, some Kubernetes metrics inside a Zabbix, is the latest data, so being able to actually process it with the uh, with the triggers, show in the graphs, dashboards, uh, process the actions and do all of that stuff. So the thing is like, uh, let me move here to the screen. Um, the thing is that this question is being asked like so frequently, like how you can monitor uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster with a Zabbix uh, natively. And the question is, uh, not the question, but the answer to this question is, well, it's complicated. Can you monitor Kubernetes with a Zabbix? Yes. Uh, can you do that with a native functionality? No, not at the moment. This question still remains open. Uh, it, it's still on a table uh, in the perspective of like, uh, will it be later available in a Zabbix? There will were conversations about us in a previous version starting from three point something so there definitely are plans to add a kubernetes monitoring it also was announced in uh, many summits uh, zabbix summit and also the conferences but not yet still if we want to monitor the kubernetes and we want to use a zabbix for that can we do that despite the fact that it's not possible out of the box yes you can and uh, so I'm going to just briefly tell you like how you can actually do that. What I have on my page here is uh, just a GitHub. It's not my GitHub project. Uh, Camel B uh, would be awesome if you are also watching this video, but I don't know, somehow I think that most likely not. If you are though, then post something in the comments. So this uh, project here has actually nothing to do with Azabix itself. As you can see from right down, it's monitoring Kubernetes cluster on AWS, GCP, and Azure using a Prometheus operator by uh, Core OS. And uh, what we are actually interested in, we are interested in Prometheus operator. Because if we would Google, uh, we can forget about this page, just Google Prometheus, uh, Kubernetes, monitoring there are quite just let's add also a github uh, there are a lot a lot of the solutions with a prometheus operator for the kubernetes cluster and how it works like you just apply the prometheus collector to your uh kubernetes cluster and uh, it becomes like fully automated. As soon as some uh, nodes are added, some services are added, some new pods are raised, immediately together with the pod, the, uh, also the Kuber sorry, also the Prometheus uh, collector node is raised and it starts to gather this information from the pod service or whatever else. And uh, there's like really no difference at the moment are there like two, five or 500 pods running. And if they will be deleted, also that information will be gone. So long story short, right now at this part, we basically talk about how you can monitor um, Kubernetes with a Prometheus, right? You can, you can with uh, community made and also some official uh, Prometheus collectors, you can get this information and this is the breaking point. So all of these solutions offer you to use Grafana, which also easily, let's say, integrates together with uh, Prometheus, and then you can visualize all the data. But Grafana is great for visualization, and Zabbix is great for everything else. And uh, you might be willing to get this data not in the Grafana, but inside a Zabbix. How to do that? Well, Zabbix does not have a native functionality for Kubernetes, but Zabbix has a native functionality for the Prometheus, which means that we can easily, inside a Zabbix, I actually don't have a um, virtual machine running right now, but uh, there is a pre-processing uh, step or 
scenario which allows you to pre-process the Prometheus uh, output from the metrics page. So if you were working with the Prometheus, you know that uh, when you configure everything, there is uh, IP address slash uh, metrics, which will list all of the gathered metrics uh, from your Prometheus collector. So it will list all of the gathered metrics from um, all the Prometheus node collectors that are running inside our Kubernetes cluster and automatically raised and dropped depending on how many pods and services do we have. And we can easily get this info inside as Abex with a native functionality and also by using the low level discovery. So instead of manually clicking those uh, hundreds of thousands of items, regular items, you can create low level discovery that will also dynamically change based on what pods you have and what information is gathered with those uh, uh, node collectors. And that's it. So aside from that, yes, you might ask like, wait, but why do I need a Zabbix if I can get everything with the uh, Prometheus and uh, use uh, the dashboards of the Grafana and, and, and some other tools? Well, because Zabbix has triggers, visualization, uh, data, uh, storage as long as you want actions, uh, some trends, you can detect anomalies, uh, calculate the percentiles of some specific data, use the dashboards again, and a lot, a lot of information. And especially if you have Zabbix already set up in your environment, it's going to be much more easier and convenient for you. So uh, to sum it up, I know that um, perhaps like if you clicked on this video, you were want to see um, the real like solution from A to Z, how to configure this. But uh, it's not what you saw in this video because it depends on which um, collector you choose from. I configured my the one uh, from which you saw the screenshot uh, with this one, I believe, yes, but it was also modified. So I took out all the Grafana, which also like uh, gets started natively in the Kubernetes. Uh, so I left only node collectors from Prometheus. Everything else was uh, ripped out and uh, that's it. So with this collector in your Kubernetes cluster, what you get is one service URL with a slash metrics page that will list all of the data from your pods. And then this information is populated inside Zabbix. So I hope that this will actually help you uh, in your journey for getting Kubernetes data inside of Zabbix. Uh, what you need to get away from this video is that currently and only currently, it is not possible to monitor Kubernetes cluster uh, with the native functionality of the Zabbix directly. But it's not a problem at all to collect all of this data with the Prometheus and then pull this data inside the Zabbix and then our regular flow with the data processing actions and other stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope that this will be helpful for you. Uh, click the like button, subscribe as usual. And also don't forget to open the description of the page in which I'm going to list uh, all of these URLs and uh, you will also find some other URLs that might be helpful for you. So thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching. See you later and goodbye.